Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys the easiest way that I've learned um, to outline your text using GIMP. Uh, and this can be useful for uh, if you just want to outline some text or make a thumbnail um, or basically anything you'd want to do uh, to make your text just kind of pop out from its background. Um, so we're going to open GIMP here. I'm using version 2.10. Um, however, uh, any later versions of GIMP or any versions after this uh, will likely be very similar, if not the same. Um, so we have GIMP open right now, and uh, the first thing we need to do is just open a canvas uh, or start a new one so I can uh, have somewhere to write the text uh, for the lesson. Um, so we'll just create a blank canvas here. I'll just create 900 by 1000. It really doesn't matter how big this is. I just need a place to uh, to put the text for you. Uh, so step number one is to come up here where the tools are and click the text tool um, and create a text box. Uh, I'm just going to write in here. Um, let's see. I'll use all capitals and I'll just put text. I'm also going to use the move tool and just move it a little more to the center for us. Um, so uh, once we have our text uh, on our layer, um, the first thing we need to do is duplicate this layer. So I'm going to go over here and right click and I'm going to go up and find duplicate layer and I'm going to click that. So even though it looks like nothing's happened, uh, what has actually taken place is that there's a duplicate layer uh, of the text that's exactly the same and they're on top of each other. So what I want to do is uh, go back and pick my first layer and I want to grow that layer. So again I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down to Alpha to Selection. And now you can see that uh, it's selected all around uh, my original layer of text. So now I'm going to want to grow that. Uh, so that it pops out from the other layer. So I'm going to go to select and grow and I'm going to just go with five here, five pixels. You can go make your outline as thick or as thin as you'd like. Um, I find five works very well unless there's some reason I need a thicker outline or a thinner outline. You can basically just through trial and error figure out what you like. So I'm going to go with five here. And now you can see that the original selection has actually popped out a bit from the text and you can see uh, the beginnings of the outline here. So now what we want to do is fill that with color. So I'm going to select uh, another color here, probably just yellow so you can see it very easily. And then we're going to click our bucket tool. And then we're going to go in here and click in between the uh, floating dotted line and the text. And as you can see, um, it's filled all of the uh, uh, outline in yellow. So now it definitely is uh, standing out from the original text. Now, if you forget to go and select your original layer and you still have it on the top layer, what can happen when you go to fill this in with your bucket is it will fill in the whole thing. Um, it's not that you've messed it up, it's just that you've filled the yellow color in on the wrong layer. So what you can do, the easiest way to fix this, is to just go over here where your layers are, take the lower text layer and drag it up above that text layer and then you'll see it comes back out from the bottom and now you have your yellow outline. Um, so that's the easiest way uh, to uh, create outlines around your text in GIMP. Um, if you like this tutorial, if it's helped you in any way, uh, please just give me a like. It helps me out. It helps my video get seen. Um, subscribe. Uh, turn on notifications. Um, you know, uh, that'll give me some motivation to make further tutorials in the future. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.